Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Resident Evil. Let's drop these back in here. Right. Need to burn some zombies, so I'll take that with me. There you are. Good. We'll drop this back off because I'll need the space. There's no point burning that one because he disappears after a while. Alright, got everything else I need? Yes! No, I need to go and find... Go and grab the other small key. the long way round so I can't go through that other door because it'll break the handle I love the design for this mansion it is stunning This is not going to be the speediest of playthroughs, but I'm not a speedrunner anyway, so no issues there. Yeah, I'm going to leave you there for emergencies. There we go. I also like the fact that some of these rooms don't have any music, you just it's just the sound of Chris's footsteps and the silence of the mansion. It really adds to the atmosphere. And that kind of worked in the Resident Evil 2 remake as well, but when there was music, it was really quiet as well, which I felt was more of a detriment than helpful. I mean that kind of thing worked in Resident Evil 7 because you're in an isolated location. Whereas Resident Evil 2 you're in a city that's suppo supposedly overrun with zombies and monsters and the soundtrack didn't really reflect that. Alright here we go. Which is a shame because the remake of Resident Evil 2 soundtrack is amazing. It has one of the best soundtracks ever, you just don't really hear it. Alright. No. I don't need to examine them, I know what they are. Blew the dog whistle. Whoops. Oh, you bitch. Can you? Damn mutts. There. Oh, 
God, this game still looks great. I'd still love to see an updated look with the RE engine. But it still looks amazing. Right, okay. Let's do the thing. Shape of a key. You probably don't need the dog whistle anymore. Discard it, yes. Oh, you're back up. And there's our first crimson head. They're fun. I'm glad they can't follow you through rooms like in RE2. Design, who comes up with these ideas for traps? Somebody incredibly paranoid. I mean, considering the research that was going on here, maybe they're right to be paranoid. But still, seems a tad extreme. Cool, we now have the armour key. Ooh, you sneaky bitch. Huh. Do you need man? Jesus! Right, we need to set you on fire. So let's pop in here, get my can canteen out. Oh no, hang on. Can I even open that door yet? I need a small key. Ah. Uh. I'll leave it for now. I've got, I've got time before they turn. Because you need a small key, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, a grenade. Thank you very much. Pop in here first. Keeper's Diary. May the 9th, 1998. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. May 10th. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before actually eating it. May 11th. Around 5am... 
Scott woke me up, scared the shit out of me too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. May 12th. I've been we wearing this damn space suit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. May 13th. I went, went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. May 14. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realised some of them had escaped. Maybe this was their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have, I'll have my head handed to me. May 16. Rumours going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off me. What the hell's happening to me? May 19. Fever gone, but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. May 21st. Itchy, itchy. Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him tasty for itchy tasty so this is so from may 11th it sounds like that's when the uh, the virus broke out which we now know was caused by dr marcus with the leeches and it took 10 days to turn maybe maybe it's because he was still human and just got infected by the virus and not just bitten by a zombie but 10 days of just literally feeling yourself rot and die must have been awful I mean it's bad enough if you get bitten by a mosquito those bastards leave it's a satisfying itch but it goes on for bloody ever or getting stung by nettles this went on for 10 days. And it's also an insight into how the brain was effective as well. So you see, it goes from being very well spoken and, co and coherent to then just describe it just down, right down to the basics. of saying, got a fever, still itchy, hungry, eat dog food. Killed Scott, ate him, tasty, and the last entry. Damn, man. I need you to open because there's a key in there. I don't need to worry about these guys turning, well one of them at least because his head's exploded, but the other one can stay in there. Because he won't come out. That should be a thing here. We can go and sort out these bodies in here. Let's clear this room out first. Just some old furniture? No, I want the grenade. Thank you. Broken shotgun. No. Right, good. Grab you. So we can get the shotgun. Right. 
grab the canteen, fill up the oil. Oops. Go through the door, Chris, come on. this up, burn the bodies, fill it up again, kill the weeds. That sounds like a plan. I know I don't need to, but I want to. Where are you? Ah, oh, you're here. There. No, you don't need to worry about them getting up. The easier you make things for yourself, these games are a breeze. As we learned from Resident Evil, my playthrough of Resident Evil Zero, it is very easy to screw things up for yourself. But we should be relatively okay with this one. I do play this game quite a lot. I haven't played it for a while, but this is a game I go back to every so often. So I should be able to get through this with... Uh, Minimal, uh, minimal. Oh God, I can't brain today. Maybe, I'm, maybe I'm infected with the virus. That was a really poor taste, a tasteless joke, considering what's going on. I apologise. Make it red. Make it rain. Make it rain. Excellent. And we've got a bunch of herbs here. Need to remember them. Yeah, I don't really have the room to cut them now, but I shall return for you, my dears. Wait for me. No, not examine. Yeah. Not having you two turn. I need these hallways clear. Shotgun, should I take that with me now or Yeah, I'll take it with me now. Cause the sooner I get the shotgun the better.
Ah. Uh, there's a zombie out here I forgot about. Oh, okay. Don't need to worry about it, apparently. Yes, discard it. I thought I was going to have to go back and get the canteen and burn it, but nope. Assistance not required. Yes. No, I want uh, the dagger, Chris. Chris, the dagger, the dagger. Chris. Yeah, Chris, the dagger. Jesus. Oh, I avoided you because I thought you were going to grab my ankles. Oh, nose! Ladies. I'll have to deal with them later, but for now, they are not my problem. soundtrack. Oh, blue gem. I'll go back this way. <coughs> oh, goddamn hay fever. Go away. Alright, let's give this tiger one of his eyes. Hey dude. Got an eye for you. Ooh, shotty boys. Thank you. How did you know? Cool. Yeah, I'm going to try and go for the best ending. Where everyone lives. Well, not everyone lives, but... With Chris, it's either Chris survives alone, Chris Jill, Chris Rebecca, Chris Rebecca Jill. And with Jill, you've got Jill, Jill Barry, Jill Chris, Jill Barry Chris. So we're going for Jill, Chris Rebecca Jill, Jill Barry Chris. Because in terms of the care, why did I come in here? Don't need to be in here yet. In terms of the canon, that's the canon ending. With uh, Chris, Rebecca, Jill and Barry surviving.
You know the big difference between like playing through as Chris and Jill. With as Jill, you run into Barry occasionally, and he gives you stuff. I hear you moving around in there. I know it's going to move back, but it makes me feel better. With Chris, you only meet Rebecca occasionally. And she can heal your wounds, but she doesn't really give you anything. How am I doing? No. Can't pick up those herbs. Well, shit. I forgot about that. Where's the other one? Well, shit. I completely forgot about that. One, two, three, with their heads intact. Bugger. There should be a... oh, no, hang on. I do want to go back to those herbs at some point, but it should be okay. If I go around the other... if I go around the long way, I shouldn't run into them. I can't pick up the shotgun, because... Fuck. I did not think that through at all. But do you see what I mean? About um, the dropping system. In Resident Evil Zero you could drop you could just drop items and pick them up again. That's something I honestly wish would be implemented into the other games as well as keeping the uh, storage box system. Oh well. Doesn't matter now, I've got the shotgun. I'm not going to go through that door. <coughs> no point going for those herbs because I can't combine them if I'm full. Jesus, stop it. <laughs> How are we doing for time? Ah, we're getting close to... Well, just ticked over 30 now, so... We'll go through here, open up some doors. And then end this episode here. Oh no, hold on. There's a door out here I need to unlock. I had to remember to come back, go through that door in the next episode. How am I forgetting so many things? I don't like the fact I'm forgetting so much stuff. And then that means there should be 
one uh, after I've unlocked this door on this on this top floor. There's one more door to unlock with the armor key, and then we're done with it. Okay. Ooh, we have a note. I left some bullets in the room on the right. I'll go ahead and look for a way out. Wesker. <coughs> Cheers, Wes. <coughs> Stop it. Ooh, look at all the goodies he's left for us. And handgun bullets. Right. I'm going to do some organising. You there, you there. Right, there we go. I'm going to pick up these handgun bullets first. Because I want them next to the handgun. Yes, I am that fickle. First aid sprays. Thank you, Wesker. I mean, oh, oh. Ultimately, I know you're only giving me these items to keep me alive long enough so, for you, so you can collect battle data. Nonetheless, I appreciate. Fill you up. Because I may very well go back and burn those bodies just for the giggles. Put you there. Excellent. And now we can end this episode. Here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this guys, if you liked it be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to ding that bell icon to stay notified of any future uploads. I've been Sigmalator, this has been Resident Evil and I will catch you next time. Take care now.